If you're wondering how this electric beast works, welcome to our presentation. I'm Nicola from DES and today I will be making apple brandy with our distilling equipment with salt. This pot still is called DWPAC and it is designed for making different kinds of alcoholic beverages. It is a rectification column 500 liters net capacity still and it is manufactured for modern types of distillation. It obtains a high proof of alcohol in a single run. This type of steel is powered depending on our customer's individual requirements, either by solid fuels, electric power with 36 kilowatts per hour, four heaters, nine kilowatts per hour each, gas powered with approximately 25 to 110 kilowatts capacity gas burners, and it can be powered with steam heating via steam generator. Of course, we can make combo or combination of heating. And today we are using a pure electrolytic copper steel with electric power. The net capacity of the pot is 500 liters per charge. Of course, you can go with a slightly smaller amount, but if you want optimum performance, you should bring it up to 500 liters. Inside, the mesh is steered by diagonally positioned mixer blades that are run by electromotor at 96 RPM, achieving a good circulation of the whole mass, providing constant contact of the mesh with a hot surface. That equally heating brings us to the very efficient extraction of alcoholic vapors from the mesh itself. We have this control table, which shows us the four various temperatures. The first one is the temperature of the water bath. Second one is the temperature of mesh itself. The third one is the temperature of connecting pipe, which is between the column and the cooler. And finally, we have the temperature of the spirit coming out of the steel. Now we will turn on the heaters and the propeller. And as this beast starts to run, we will talk about some of the features of the steel. We have a brushed stainless steel furnace with a water bath or water or steam jacket. It is filled up with water up to the inspection glass and the steam will fill uh, the rest of the space once the water reaches the boiling point. Furnace has three centimeters of stone wool isolation, preventing heat from going to the surrounding area. This will significantly reduce the time and energy for each cycle. The electric heaters are inserted directly in the water, which is then heated to the boiling point and then the steam heats up the space in the furnace to approximately 110 degrees Celsius, which we can monitor here and operating with low pressure to a maximum of 0.5 bar, which is regulated by a safety valve, which will let the excess pressure out. But we can safely monitor the pressure inside using this indicator. The upper part of a steel or the cap is a large surface where the vapors get in contact with the copper and condensate, providing a very good initial reflux. This process is very important in making quality spirits. This is sip cleaning system with sprinklers. Now, the science part. Once extracted, the vapors pass through refraction column. It is specially made for aromatic spirits like brandy or rum 
ETC and it's made to preserve the smell and taste while achieving maximum smoothness. So, the maximum smoothness is achieved by free contact of vapor and reflux. Condensed liquids in the column itself, where the coming vapor heats the aromatic components from the downcoming reflux to the steam state, absorbing them and becoming enriched with the smell and taste, giving the spirit coming out of the steel the same characteristics as it would have from a traditional setup, only in half time. After the vapor reaches the end of the columns, it passes through the deflagmator. So, that provides initial condensation of alcohol steam and it separates higher alcohols, water and other heavy or high steam point components from the ethanol, the only alcohol you want to drink. It does so by regulating the temperature of the water in the deflagmator itself and when a stable temperature of exiting vapor is achieved, it's approximately 82 to 85 Celsius, the water, higher alcohols, Aldehydes, esters and ketones will condensate into a liquid, aka reflux, and go back down the column interacting with coming vapor. Now these aldehydes, esters and ketones make the molecular structure of taste and smell in the spirit and in the ingredients that we are using. The quantity and types of these three compounds, molecular chains and lengths and also their concentration make an apple tastes like apple, grapes tastes like grapes, and so on and so on. The trick is to get them from integridient to a vapor state and preserve them all the way to the condenser. Design of Aromamax column is made exactly with that in mind. Back to our vapor trail. Once the alcohol vapor reaches the very top of the column, it passes through the deflagmator then goes to the condenser, the cooling system, aka the cooler. We have an inlet for cold water and outlet for hot water, which is connected to the deflagmator via downfoss wall, which regulates the temperature of the deflagmator. The temperature in the deflagmator may vary depending on your water source temperature. And that's why we are using downfoss wall. Our brandy just started to seep out and the first amount, the first 1% from the whole mash that you put in the steel should be thrown away because it is metal and you can smell it as it comes out. It's, it has a very, very strong smell. So that's poisonous and please throw away the first 1%. This is a parrot. And now, during this part of the process, you're going to measure alcohol volume by volume percentage in it. So, let us check what's the score at this point of time. So when the distillation comes to the end, we should check the alcohol volume per volume percentage and if it comes below the 60, we should turn off the heaters. So let us check how far have we got. The process is brought to the end, we should turn off the heaters. And don't forget to turn off the steering.
given parameters like type of cycle, alcohol strength percentage or daily capacity. They all may vary depending on the temperature of the mesh, heating option and level of fermentation the moment of distillation. Maximum capacity with preheating of mesh and hot water cleaning should be approximately 4 tons a day. If you enjoyed our presentation, you can press like and subscribe down below or leave a comment. What do you think we should do next? Which product? And for more news, you can check our Facebook page. Until the next time, I really hope you found this demonstration useful and we will see each other in another presentation. Until then, keep distilling.